So the Aspire Atlantis version 1 was the first tank of its kind. I mean, it was the first sub ohm tank to hit the vaping market. Hell, everybody went nuts for butts for that thing. I mean, you got 0.5 ohm coil heads. People were just flocking to it. It was a great device. It still is a great device. Had great airflow, but now they got a new one. Got They got, they got the Atlantis version 2. Remember, guys, this is only a sneak peek. All I'm going to be doing today is vaping her and talking about different features between this version 2 and the version 1. And then I'm I'm gonna spend time with her for about another week come back i'll dive down i'll show you this thing all broken apart and let you know whether i think it's worth it if it's better than the version one if it's not better sound good okie freaking dokie so the coil head i have in here right now is the 0.5 ohm coil head now it also comes with a 0.3 ohm coil head versus the version one which came with only 2.5 ohm coil heads now i've heard this thing also comes with a 1 ohm coil head mine did not mine just came with a 2 the 0.5 and the 0.3 so yeah i've got this 0.5 ohm coil head in here i've got her sitting on the Heartbeat DNA 40 and I'm vaping her at 34 watts. Oh yeah, and I've got the airflow halfway open on both sides down at the bottom. Now I'm gonna take her watt open on both sides at the bottom and take her up to 40 watts. And as you guys can see, we got airflow for days, but it doesn't just stop there. Not only do you have airflow at the bottom on both sides, but you got adjustable airflow at the top right underneath the drip tip. All right, so there's the base. As you guys can see, you got one giant slot on one side and you got one giant slot on the other. And there's your adjustable airflow ring and all you do is just turn it. You can adjust it, close her off all the way, open her up all the way, close her halfway, and whatever you adjust on this side, it's going to adjust on this side. Or you can run this thing in another setting so you got two different airflow settings. You can adjust it to where you have just one three millimeter hole on one side and then one smaller slot on the other. Now I don't know why they did it this way. It's kind of weird, but I need to spend more time with it to figure that out. Got it? So you got quite a bit more airflow at the base for this device, this version two, than you do the version one. The version one, you had four different airflow settings, but you only had airflow for one side at the base. Not two like this one. Also, this sucker holds three mils of e-liquid versus the version one, which holds two mils of e-liquid. Okay, so what I've done now is I've opened up the airflow at the top before I had her closed off when I just had the airflow open at the bottom on both sides. Now I've got her halfway open at the top you got four holes on hose hose you got four holes at the top i'm going to show you in a minute but i got the airflow halfway well a quarter of a way open on both sides of the base and i'm vaporing at 35 watts you know what i'm going to go ahead and open up all the way all the way open open her up all the way open at the top and then open her up all the way down at the bottom, from the top to bottom, baby. And then I'm gonna take her up to 40 watts. 40 watts. She's gonna need more wattage. Okay, so I put her on this Tesla 120, got her opened up all the way open, all the way across the board from top to bottom, vaping her at 55 watts. Oh yeah, there we go. And she's keeping up with this 0.5 ohm coil head, no dry hits. Yeah, man, so this thing is definitely catered to those airflow junkies, the guys that want the airflow to chuck the clouds, the cloud chasers. That's what it's catered to. Now, I can only imagine the 0.3 ohm coil heads being a step up as far as cloud chasing status, but I just haven't gotten to those suckers, but I've been using this 0.5 ohm coil head. It takes about a tank to break in, but once she's broken in, the flavor is good. Flavor is good. You see the performance, the cloudage. I mean, the airflow for this device is great, uh, but I need to spend more time with her. Need to spend more time with her. I can tell you right now, the coil heads are... Are slightly different i'm not going to show you in this video the coils are bigger there's still the bvc coil heads the bottom vertical coils and it uses organic cotton and also the feed holes on the atlantis 2 version coil heads are larger than the feed holes in the atlantis 1 coil heads okay so here's your adjustable airflow at the top okay right below the drip tip here's the drip tip drip tip comes out like so and there's the inside you see those four holes Also, the only drip tip that you can use for this bad boy is this drip tip. You cannot use any of your preferred drip tips because the hole is just too large. It's not compatible. You adjust the airflow by turning this ring right here. Okay, see that? You can close it off. You can open them up, open them up, wide open, close them off halfway, and they're the same all across the board. 
Okay, so this is a 22 millimeter device, just like the version one, but it's slightly longer. It's about two millimeters longer than the version one. The one thing I did notice about this device that I did not like versus the version one is this thing did not come with an extra Pyrex tank, whereas the version one did, and I don't like that. So that's a sneak peek of this Atlantis version two. Give me a week, week and a half, and I'll have a full review out for you. This is Rip Trippers, and remember, smoking is dead, vaping is the future, and the future is now.